going for this one early. Rock going to take it. He's got a mean left foot. Lifting it in far side. Apparently in an outside position is Brazil. Played across on a score. Tony Neal is chasing after the linesman. And so is Jeff Vegas. The linesman was in a strange position, number one. He was not even with the last pack, although perhaps the referee was. The linesman was on the corner flag when that free kick was taken by Bronco. And before the kick was taken, the whole U.S. team sprinted out. We're looking at it much too late here. It's obvious here there's three Brazilians in there by themselves. The United States racing back when they did not see. See the linesman over in the far corner there uh, was not even with the last defenders of the United States, although the referee probably was, and it, then it's his decision. We've got a different angle, but I think the tone of my voice indicated that I thought he well, was offside. There were definitely two Brazilians in an offside position. They don't necessarily need to be called offside. But the player on the ball, that's the question. The player that received the ball, was he in an offside position when the ball was played? I believe he was. Correct is the man that scores. You see the U.S. team sprinting out, waiting for the whistle. No whistle is there. Now the ball played across, and there's Kareka just getting a touch to the ball at the near post. There's Kareka. Great goal score. Was on the 86 and 90 World Cup team. Actually made the 82 team, but was injured the night before and never played in 82. And he's not going to miss a chance like that one where there were barely any United States defenders in any type of position. They had all sprinted out. Passed by Henderson, but there was a foul called right before it. Here we see the ball being served from the near side baseline. Diving across for it. Gareca, the captain today, gets the early goal for Brazil. There's Kareka, a proven goal scorer. So 